everyone. Um, okay, so we're here with day four of our 33 days of manifestation. And um, whew, today is a chilly day up here in Maine. So I'm here in my living room near the wood stove, <laughs> keeping warm. And actually, I'll show you, you see that I have this awesome, like, teardrop-shaped hanging flying saucer hammock. And you may not see it. I have a bunch of, um, uh, up there next to the window, crystal pyramids and the like hanging. So I do a little sound healing. And then, Mitzi, get away from there. <laughs> Okay, and you know, I have this is my uh sound healing part of the my house, anyway. Come here, baby. Come here. I'm here with Mitzi, and um, today we're going to do day four of um 33 days of manifestation. Those of you who were with me yesterday, um we did an exercise of just inviting our like guides, our souls, our guardian angels, whomever of the non-physical who is connecting with us through joy and love to come and help us with this. Here's the thing with manifestation. You are bringing reality to your dreams. <laughs> and sometimes it helps to get more of those of the non-physical to give a lot of uh, anchoring to our dreams, to help us bring it here and make it happen here. Also, especially if you don't have a lot of faith in yourself or if you feel like, you know, do I really deserve to have everything I want? Do I, am I really powerful enough? Like if you have any self-doubts and, you know, you can say, fine, I doubt my ability, but my guardian angel or Archangel Michael or, you know, the Lemurians or whoever, they rock it, they can make things happen. So you bring them in to help and that opens up your faith. Yesterday, in my head, I was going to manifest puppies, but my heart opened up when I looked in myself for like filling myself with joy. My heart opened and the word inspiration came out. And then I got to tell you, yesterday, some things happened that really inspired me. Like it, it happened big time, but also like a lot of puppy dogs started showing up in my life too, which was totally funny. Um, and the uh, young coyotes were like howling all afternoon and evening. They were like, uh, they were out sowing their wild young coyote puppy oats. I guess, you know, the ones who are now like a half year old. You can tell their voice is not as mature as the others. And they were like, ah, running around like maniacs, which was um, interesting to hear. Uh, so I want to talk to you about like, when you manifest, think of it as the same thing as putting any project to life. Like say you want to clean your house. You're like, okay, first I got to, you know, you run through your to-do list. Or if you want to start any project, you know, you get where you're at, you look at what you want, and then you figure out what is the path to get from here to there or to bring there to here. You know, it's, there's sometimes a little house cleaning to do. Sometimes the first stage of manifestation is acknowledging, facing, dealing with, and releasing all the stuff that's within you that is blocking this from being in your life. So sometimes the first stage of manifestation can be really uncomfortable. Uh, makes you just want to back away from the whole thing. No, this is manifestation. I don't want it. Which is why in these early stages of these 33 days, I'm saying like, just do light little fun things that don't have any actual value to you. Um, and 
the reason for this is also like if you are saying like, oh, I need something or it'll be bad. You're bringing that need and bad energy into it and you're going to manifest a lot more need and bad, not what you want. Um, if you're like, oh, I need a thousand dollars, what you're manifesting is the need for a thousand dollars, not, oh, look, I have a thousand dollars. So we're working our way up to that kind of stuff. It's really important that you get yourself to the point where you are emotionally neutral and happy with the whole situation, feeling good. That's where the most powerful manifestation comes from. I'll tell you years ago, years ago when I had my uh, wellness center and it was a popping place. Like we had, you know, we were busy and we had packed events once, twice a day. We were like doing great. And then suddenly event after event, no one would even show up. All of our clients disappeared. It was like suddenly in like a very short period of time, my business went from like thriving to, you know, a ghost town. And so I went to like five pujas to Lakshmi in a week. And it just so happened, like, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And a friend happened to walk through my door and said, hey, I thought I'd pop by and visit you. Um, I feel like you could use a hand. I don't know, you know, one of those things. And I told her my business suddenly just dumped. And she went, oh, I'm going to puja for Lakshmi tonight. You should go. And Lakshmi is, you know, the goddess of abundance. So we went and it, just like every single day, someone was showing up saying, hey, do you want to go to a puja for Lakshmi? And I'm like, well, obviously I meant to. And the first thing that happened was all this horrible stuff happened in my life. Immediately horrible stuff. I was just like, oh my God, everything is falling apart. It was so terrible. And then I realized there was a lot happening in my life that I was unaware of. It turns out my business manager, my second in command, had developed a really hardcore drug habit and he was stealing from me and he was creating really toxic energy that I was oblivious to because I'm like, it just doesn't occur to me that people will ever do that. And um, so all the bad things that happened was just basically all the things I was oblivious to that were happening, I realized them. And once I realized and I confronted what was happening, um, everything just fell into place. I, of course, you know, fired that guy and um, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. It was very uncomfortable. It was a very uncomfortable two weeks. But once I got everything in place, immediately, like people started walking through the front door going, I don't know why I haven't been here. This is my favorite place. And like with no promotion or marketing, I went from zero people attending events to like 30, 40 people attending like within a couple of days. So I'm saying that because sometimes if you are manifesting and you think that it's getting really awkward or uncomfortable, that means you need to look inside without judgment, without reaction to see what is within you that's saying, I'm blocking your manifestation. You need to let me go. Having said that, <laughs> we're going to continue right now on manifesting things that you can just be neutral about. Fun things, building our connection. And we're inviting our guides, our guardians, our friends to come and help us. We will work our way up to, you know, the bigger stuff. So what I want you to start doing, and I do this, I do this every day. Every night when I go to bed, I open up my mind and my heart. I get myself to a very 
calm, happy, neutral state. And this isn't my permanent state. Trust me, I have the same anxieties and issues of everyone else. But for this moment, I invite myself to be in a happy, kind of neutral, open state. And I open myself up and say, whoever is out there who loves me on the level of my soul, my guardian angel, on up to higher capabilities, I invite you to come and connect with me. And then I just open up and I invite whomever is there who's connecting with me through a very high frequency of love, joy, whatever you prefer, or both. And I just like let their words filter in my mind. And I tell them about how grateful I am that they were helpful in my day. And I tell them about what I'm focusing on like for the next day and I invite them to give me refreshing happy sleep time so then the next morning when I wake up before I get out of bed I do the same thing I open up and I welcome anyone and everyone who's with me through the highest frequency of joy and love on my soul's level on up and I you know, check in, say hello to them, greet them. And I tell them about what I have planned for the day. And I invite them to help make it easy, smooth, and bountiful. If I'm doing housework, I invite them to help me with my housework. And as I go throughout my day, I'll check in here and there. I'm like, okay, in 20 minutes, I'm gonna do housework. I appreciate your help because trust me, I hate housework. <laughs> And what happens is I still have to do my housework, but it's like I'm getting this help. Like instead of having to wipe things three times, I just have to wipe once. Or when I vacuum, everything's just like pulled into the vacuum cleaner. You know, it's it's really fantastic. Um, so that's me. I always get help when I do housework. So... If I have any manifestations or issues, I know this is the team to help me with it because we're already connected. And as I'm going through the day, I don't make it a big deal. I just chat with them about, you know, I'm trying to make this happen. I'd like that to happen. I'm wishing for this. I have this issue. I don't know how to resolve it, but I'd like it to be a good outcome. Advice, support, always, always appreciate it. And the more we get comfortable, the more they're able to just bring bounty into my life. So today, quick meditation, we're going to continue where we left off yesterday. And if you missed it, just go to 33 Days of Manifestation, Day 3. And um, wait, what is today? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, right, <laughs> day three. <laughs> and, you know, it, it's right there waiting for you. So, always a good starting point for manifestation is look inside yourself for that, like, ember of joy. It's going to be somewhere in your body. Somewhere in your body, there is an ember of joy. And just, you know, blow on it, infuse it. Invite it to be like more flamed, more flamed, like that wood stove behind me, until your entire body, your entire being, and flowing out into your auric atmosphere is filled with joy. It's a good state to be in. and invite out anyone out there who can connect with me and help me out on the frequency of joy, of love, of pure kindness and goodness. I invite you to just come here and be with me. I'm developing my manifestation skills and I would like you to help me. 
So today, let's manifest. And again, you know what? Anything that pops in your heart, small light, like fun cloud shapes in the sky, or the color yellow, or, you know, fun things that will make me laugh. Today, I invite a lot of laughter into my life, or happiness. Let's just bring happiness on in, or, you know, the feeling of miraculous living, you know, any little thing, purple, unicorns, happy surprises. And invite this to flow from you out and flow forward on your life path. So as you're walking forward through your day, this will constantly be there to greet you. As you go through your day today, give yourself little moments to practice this exercise like five times, 10 times, you know, little moments. The more you do it, the more you get to like less than one time, you know, or one minute, you know, a few seconds, you can just like, bam, you're in there. <sighs> Manifestation moment, yes. Enjoy your day. I look forward to seeing you. Oh, tomorrow Mariam will be with us again. And um, mm, have a good day.